have already purchased your CookTech Incognito Buffet system, or you are considering installing it into your location, this video will show you step-by-step -step how to install the system for optimum performance. There are several important points to consider when installing the Incognito to your countertop. First, the distance between the top of each unit and the top of the counter must be four centimeters, regardless of the thickness of the stone. A special mounting bracket that comes with every incognito unit will ensure that the proper distance is maintained. Please make sure to read the installation guide very carefully. Second, there should be absolutely no metal of any kind featured in the countertop construction above each incognito. With the exception of the mounting rails, all metal should be kept at least five centimeters away from the top of the incognito. Non-metallic countertop materials, wood, or an air gap are acceptable. The electromagnetic wave will pass through harmlessly. Third, the incognito unit requires two cubic meters per minute of free airflow with adequate enclosure venting. You can achieve this with ventilation holes or slots on one side of your cabinet. The minimum size of the opening in the cabinet should be 45 square centimeters per unit. The maximum ambient air temperature around the unit must not exceed 50 degrees Celsius. If you are installing more than one unit, please note that each unit requires 5 centimeters of cooling clearance on all sides and 15 centimeters below. Finally, check to see if your countertop material has been approved by CookTech. Materials that have not been approved may interfere with the Incognito's remote temperature sensing technology. Visit our website or call customer service to obtain a list of approved materials. If your material has not been approved, you can submit a 30 by 30 centimeter sample for testing. The sample should be of the same depth intended for the final installation. There is no charge for this service. Most natural stones and engineered stones, the kind that are a ground stone and polymer mix, are acceptable. Solid surfaces, ones which are all polymer, are not. The incognito units are mounted onto a track system for ease of installation, repositioning, and removal for service or repair. Each unit comes with a 45 centimeter length of track. This allows for some fine tuning of final position. Longer track kits are available in 1.2 meter lengths, where regular and more extensive repositioning of the units is desired. When you open the box, you will find the incognito unit, the control box, a shielded CAT 5E or CAT 6 patch cable, mounting track, and a Magneto 2 trivet-like device. The mounting track is comprised of four pieces. For three centimeter stone, the stone should be naked with no plywood substrate. First, two 5.7 centimeter wide strips of 12 millimeter plywood should be glued onto the underside of the stone. These should be 406 millimeters apart and run along the length of the counter. Make absolutely sure that the strips are parallel and run along the length of the counter. No holes or cuts to the actual stone are required. Do not use a flat sheet of plywood, as once the unit is bolted in place, it will sit slightly up in the gap between the strips of plywood. Once the glue has dried, Attach the first part of each mounting track to the plywood strips using the short screws. Then attach the second part of the mounting track using the bolts. Be sure to select the right hole as this is critical to ensuring the required four centimeter gap from the top of the unit to the top of the stone. For three centimeter stone, select the hole stamped 30 millimeters. Two centimeter stone is typically installed with a plywood substrate for added strength. The incognito mounting rails can therefore be installed directly onto the substrate. 
Again, make sure that the rails run parallel to the edges of the countertop. CookTech mounting rails can be used with either 1.9 cm or 1.3 cm plywood substrates under 2 cm stone. When it comes to mounting the second part of the mounting track, select either 32 mm or 40 mm. Use the hole stamped 32 mm with a 1.3 cm substrate. Use the hole stamped 40 mm with a 1.9 cm substrate. Attaching the second piece of track will create a Z-shaped bracket on each side, the upper part installed into the plywood, the lower part providing shelves on which the incognito unit will sit. CookTech installation hardware only supports these three configurations, which are the most popular. Other depths can be customized at the installer's risk. The key points to remember are that the top of the incognito unit must be exactly 4 centimeters from the top of the stone and that there should be no metal in between. Wood, stone, and air, or any combination of the three is acceptable. If the unit is mounted too close to the top of the counter, you will overheat the remote temperature sensor and may cause damage to your pans. The unit may cease to function. If the unit is mounted too far away from the top of the counter, the remote temperature sensor will not be able to communicate with the unit and it will cease to function properly. Again, the distance between the top of the unit and the top of the counter must be exactly 4 centimeters. Once you have attached the mounting track at the proper setting for your countertop depth, final installation is simple. Take note that one side of each incognito unit is labeled antenna side. If you are installing more than one unit, it is best to have all of the antennas facing the same side, though it does not matter if the antennas are toward the front or the back of the counter. The antenna side will need to align with the wireless communication tab on the Magneto 2 disc. For installations where the countertop runs along a wall, it is usual to install the antenna side nearest the wall. For island buffets, it is normal to have the antenna side on the guest side. Holding the unit with the spring-loaded bars in each hand, slide the end of the bars through the holes in your track system. Push the bars back so that they extend through the holes far enough for the other ends to clear the track on the other side. Release the bars so that the unit is securely supported in the track on both sides. The control box should be mounted in the side of the cabinet or valance under a table type counter. They can be hidden inside a cabinet too, behind doors, creating a very attractive and unobtrusive look. Cutout dimensions can be found on the spec sheet for this unit. Once inserted into the cutout, simply attach the control box with four screws. Next, insert one end of the control box cable into the bottom of the incognito unit. Insert the other end into the back of the control box. Finally, plug the incognito into an appropriate grounded receptacle. Please note that the control box cable is a shielded type. If for any reason you need to replace the cable, the replacement must be a shielded CAT5E or CAT6 cable. Using a non-shielded cable may damage the unit. Longer cables may be substituted to allow for more remote mounting of the control boxes. For example, you may want to have the controls for three separate units located together at the end of the cabinet. Just be sure to source and use only shielded versions of CAT5E or CAT6 cables. Up to 5.5 meters is acceptable. You are now ready to use your incognito unit. To turn the unit on, simply press the power button. The control box LED screen will illuminate to let you know the unit is on. Place a Magneto 2 disc on the countertop above the unit, with the antenna towards the antenna side of the unit. 
you may have to shift the magneto to around to find the proper location. Do this fairly slowly. The red LED on the front of the magneto 2 and the smart tag light on the control box will illuminate to indicate that the magneto 2 is in the correct place and the system is ready to be used. The disc will work in either the 6 o'clock or 3 o'clock positions. For counters running along a wall, this allows for the red light to not shine directly at other seated guests. For island type installations, the units and discs can be oriented to face servers rather than guests. Place an induction compatible chafing dish or other induction compatible serving dish on top of the Magneto 2. A good way to test for compatibility is with a simple refrigerator magnet. The stronger the attraction, the better the pan will work. The pan detect light on the control box will illuminate to indicate that the unit recognizes the pan and will now automatically warm it to the desired temperature and then hold it there. You can adjust the temperature with the up and down arrows on the control box. For operator convenience, four preset temperatures are available as supplied. More selections are hidden but available as standard and can be accessed very simply. See your owner's manual for instructions. The unit can also be set to display Fahrenheit or Celsius temperatures. Instructions on changing these settings are also in the owner's manual. The temperature setting is persistent so that when the unit has been off and is turned back on, it will return to the last setting selected. Note that the unit will not work without the Magneto 2 in place. Even if it is accidentally left on, nothing placed on top will be heated. After 10 minutes of being left on with no pan present, the unit will enter a sleep mode. A key press is necessary to wake up the unit. When you are finished with the incognito unit, simply press the power button to turn the unit off. Use care in handling the pan as it will be hot to the touch. Remove the pan and magneto too. The countertop, however, will only be slightly warmer than normal from proximity to the hot pan. You are now ready to enjoy the precision temperature control benefits of the CookTech Incognito under counter mounted buffet system. Enjoy!